One of the most revered practitioners of journaling was Sir Isaac Newton, the renowned physicist, mathematician, and thinker of the 17th century. Sir Isaac Newton is considered not only the father of modern physics, but also one of the greatest polymaths in the history of humankind. The eccentric genius is widely remembered for his contributions to the laws of motion, the law of universal gravitation, optics, calculus, and many more. Newton's journals offer a glimpse into the mind of a genius, showcasing meticulous observations, profound insights, and revolutionary ideas. Central to Newton's journaling method was the use of commonplace books, a technique that facilitated the organization and development of his thoughts. Commonplace books have a rich history dating back to antiquity, with their origins traced to ancient Greece and Rome. They were essentially personal notebooks to compile observations, noteworthy quotations, ideas, and reflections. Over time, commonplace books evolved into an invaluable tool for scholars, writers, and thinkers to organize and expand their knowledge. Newton developed the foundations of calculus in his commonplace book. He called it his waste book. He wrote often for 18 to 19 hours daily, while ignoring meals and having little sleep. In a time when physical paper was precious, Newton inherited bound papers. These contained theological logical content, which he had no regard for. So instead, he used those papers to scribble his thoughts. Sir Isaac Newton meticulously maintained several commonplace books throughout his life. These books served as repositories for his thoughts on various subjects, ranging from mathematics and physics to philosophy and theology. Newton would carefully copy excerpts from his readings, jot down his own reflections, and even draft ideas for future research projects. By organizing his thoughts in this manner, Newton could easily reference and build upon his existing knowledge fostering a deeper understanding of complex concepts. Long before becoming one of the most celebrated figures in the history of science, Sir Isaac Newton kept a pocket-sized memorandum book, filling it with notes distilled from his reading. The small 12.5 centimeters by 7.8 centimeters vellum-bound manuscript bears some of Newton's earliest writing, dating to the end of his grammar school days and the start of his university career at Trinity College, Cambridge. Comprising a diverse range of recipes for inks, paints, medicines, and chemical compounds, mathematical problems, and linguistic observations, the pocket notebook offers fascinating insight into Newton's education and reading practices from 1659 to the early 1660s, when he was in his late teens and early 20s. A considerable portion of the volume's content wasn't authored by Newton. Instead, it was drawn from his readings, notably John Bates' work, The Mysteries of Nature and Art. Practical Steps to Emulate Newton's Journaling Method Selecting a suitable notebook. Choose a sturdy, well-bound notebook that can withstand frequent use. Newton preferred small, portable notebooks that he could carry with him wherever he went. Curating content. Like Newton, devote sections of your journal to different topics of interest, whether it's scientific theories, philosophical musings, or personal reflections. Allocate dedicated spaces for each subject matter. Record keeping. Develop a habit of regularly recording your thoughts, observations, and insights in your journal. Be diligent in documenting noteworthy quotations, ideas from your readings and reflections on your experiences. Organizational strategies. Implement a systematic approach to organizing your entries. Consider using headings, bullet points, or numbering systems to categorize and structure your content. This will facilitate easy navigation and reference in the future. Reflective practice. Set aside time for introspection and reflection within your journal routine. Use your journal as a tool for self-exploration, examining your beliefs, values, and aspirations. Iterative process. View journaling as an ongoing process of refinement and development. Just as Newton continuously revisited and revised his commonplace books, be open to revising your entries, updating them with new insights and expanding upon previous ideas.